you're really going against this beast that is unbeatable. And the only way to truly coexist with it is to match power with power in a different way, to be smart, to be agile, to maneuver. They called off the contest for the Piahi Challenge and some of the biggest waves I've ever surfed out at Piahi were before me. I was straight on the boat, straight out the back, waiting for the big ones. This swell was one of the biggest swells to grace our shores in 10 years. It dawned on me that my entire life up to that point was meant for that moment. It's the first day I rode Piahi, which was on a hydrofoil board and snowboard boots with Laird Hamilton and Dave Kalama. I knew that's where I wanted to be and this is what I wanted to do. And the years that followed, the progression from paddle and surfing, windsurfing, kite surfing, you know, toe and surfing, foil boarding, sup, like all those things have led me to where I am today. And I have to attribute this last swell success is from the sports that I do every single day. It prepared me for what I was able to do. When the really big ones came, I knew that I was in the right place at the right time. I did ride the biggest wave of my life out at Piahi that day. I really do believe that the bigger the wave, the bigger the canvas, the bigger the lip, the higher you can go. And there's that fine line of what is possible. And I think with what we're doing now, we're only scratching the surface, truly. Frick, I should be 30 feet above the lip doing a triple cork. That's the goal. 